Hi everyone, uh, thanks for joining this webinar online and my name is Victoria Rodriguez and I'm an illustrator and animator from Argentina based in Berlin and today I will share with you some tips about how to make brushes from scratch in Photoshop. So um, together with Ultra Focus, uh, we launched this uh, free workshop and we hope uh, to meet again in other one. The idea is um, keep making workshops about Photoshop tools. So you're welcome to join to the next ones. So first of all, I want to show you some of my work uh, in case you don't know me and don't know what I'm working on right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you some illustrations and some animations um, where you can see uh, how can you use these textures we are going to create and how you can use them in different formats or different um, possibilities to explode everything that Photoshop can um, offer us. So. We are now in my web page that you can visit if you want to see more of what I'm doing right now. It's victoriarodriguez.com.ar and I'm going to show you some illustrations that I create in Illustrator but after I paint in Adobe Photoshop. So the thing here is that I use all these little textures that you can see in the background and also in the characters and all of these textures are made from analog textures or gestures that I create with some tools and pencils and brushes and rollers. The thing is that you can um, barely use everything that you can make with uh, analog tools in digital formats. So you can make, for example, illustrations from scratch just using uh, Adobe Photoshop pencils and brushes. And also you can use them in animations or drawings, or maybe if you are an architect and you want to color some sketches, also you can do that with Photoshop brushes. And here's another illustration I've made for social media. And all these uh, lines and characters are also painted with these brushes I created. Also, we are going to uh, explode a way to put these textures to the background, making some layer masks. And also I really like to use these textures um, when I illustrate for children books, for example. I think it's a really um, nice way to yeah, mix like uh, digital work with uh, analog um, gestures. So I always try to incorporate them in everything I do. Also, it's very important, and I don't want to uh, forget about this, that if you have some questions or some comments you want to make or you want to ask, um, we have a little delay in YouTube. So that's why we don't have um, the comments, the live comments and the live chat. So you can send maybe a DM to uh, Alterfocus Instagram, it's Alterfocus Kunst. So you can send everything you want to know there, every question, every yeah, uh, comment or whatever you want. You can do it that way. So I started to uh, use Photoshop more or less six years ago. And I've been working with this um, program by now for all that years and I feel really really comfortable because um, when I started to work uh, in digital I always thought that maybe I should um, quit 
to make analog things. And when I started to um, discover all the tools that Photoshop uh, offers, uh, I realized that I could make these brushes and I could create my own brushes because also you can download brushes from internet or maybe exchange with other colleagues but also it's really cool when you can make your own and also you can put like a little touch of yourself to your own work so I really really like to always experiment uh, about these textures and also I'm not always using the same brushes so the idea is that you can start making your own um, box of brushes but then you can still discover more possibilities and mix them and make some new ones and yeah the idea is that you can make whatever you want once you can um, translate what is in paper and the analog uh, world to the digital one. So we are going to see everything. So finally you will be able to do these kind of things. Also when I was um, at uni, I really liked um, all the things that were related not only with illustration, also with uh, graphic stuff and screen painting and that's why also I always uh, try to use rollers and ink in these textures I create so I can transpose that to my illustrations. And to finish, I will show you some of my animations that I really like um, to use in them also these textures and I also, I really like to animate these textures. So the thing is that also in Photoshop, you can um, create these brushes, make these textures and also then animate them because Photoshop also has a possibility to make little animations or GIFs and you can use every that, everything or all the tools in just one um, program. Also, it's really important that uh, if you have a tablet like uh, Wacom, uh, you can use that and make things more, yeah, like if you were drawing or illustrating in an analog way, but also if you don't have a tablet and you have just your mouse or your pad, it's okay. And you would be able to do the same as if you had a tablet. So the idea also of this uh, workshop is that if you don't know anything about Photoshop, you will be able to make some little things and create these uh, brushes without knowing not so much. So it's cool that uh, Photoshop is a really easy and kind program for that. So that's what I've been doing all this time. If you want to see more things, you can go to my Instagram or my webpage. My webpage is victoriarodriguez.com.ar and I'm in Instagram also if you want to uh, join and follow me and it's mvictoria.rodriguez. So now we are going to start doing things on paper and it's really important that if you can follow the steps um, maybe we can do this together at the same time and also if you have some doubts you can ask uh, any questions as I said before in Ultra Focus Kunst Instagram. So I have some tools here that I prepare, you can use like everything you want, but the idea is that we are going to start this workshop in paper. 
So I have some sheets, uh, not special sheets at all, but if you want to use some texture sheets also will be okay because uh, we will have another texture that um, we could also use uh, when we scan or photograph these textures. So um, I have some brushes. I'm going to show you and some ink brush and also a roller and ink. So the idea is that we are going to make some textures and not thinking about so much of what you want to do is just like doodles or strips or whatever you want it's okay the idea is that you can uh, experiment with these tools and play a little bit and yeah like trying to get some analog textures also you can make many many things in one sheet because the idea is that we could and we can like actually um, use everything on the sheet so feel free to do whatever you want and play a little bit you can do it just with black ink or acrylics or wax or pencils or if you have I don't know, just um, a pen, you can also do some textures or doodles with that. And also, if you want, you can do maybe some um, little drawings, because also we can use uh, Photoshop brushes as stamps. So if you want to use your drawings as stamps, we, you would be able to, to do that, so... If you have some brushes uh, that are not so soft, it would be cool because you can get more textures of that, so try not to use the soft ones. And if you don't use so much painting, so much paint, also you will have like this kind of uh, grey soft textures that also we could use to make the Photoshop brushes. If you have any question, you can also remember that you can send a DM to Alter Focus Instagram.
Also, another thing you can do if you want um, is maybe experiment with a pencil and some textures, for example, wood textures. You can put your sheet uh, above that and then like scratch with your pencil and you will get like the texture of any material you want. Also that it's really useful uh, to make these Photoshop brushes, so feel free to experiment with that too. The idea in these uh, first steps is just playing with uh, the tools and whatever you have in your home. So if you don't have uh, much of these tools, don't worry. Uh, as I said before, you can use just pencils or a pen or a wax or whatever you have. So. And also, if you want, you can mix like textures. And for example, try different materials or tools. The idea is that uh, finally uh, we will have like kind of um, yeah like um, fabric of textures made with different tools that we are going to use to create uh, our brushes. So once you have all this material here, all your sheets. Um, with uh, all the experiments, the graph experiments here, you can do like um, two things. Um, the first one maybe would be like scan all these sheets. Um, so if you have a scanner, it's really cool that uh, you can maybe scan them and then, um, yeah, like um, trust space from paper to digital or for yeah to your computer um, by the scanner is really cool because you can get like the real um, yeah all, all like the really little details that you can see in the sheet and it would be like better quality but if you don't have a scanner don't worry because there are another way to make this and it's just with your phone so you can take pictures with a proper light and yeah just you can picture the sheets all the sheets just areas that you want to take for making the brushes so once you have all the pictures or you scan all the sheets then um, we will go to the computer and to Adobe Photoshop it's not necessary, necessary to have the last version of Adobe Photoshop, um, but if you have, for example, um, C5, C6 or CC, it's okay and everything works. So I'm not going to use these textures right now, but I have my own textures um, 
inventory here that I'm going to open and I'm going to show you. So, uh, we can first watch here. So I made all these textures, as I said before, with different tools. Some of them are made of wax or ink and pencils. Um, and I am always trying to mix uh, different values. So some are more, yeah, like are darker and other ones are um, gray or not so dark and also I use a lot this frottage technique so I get textures from different materials in my home or whenever I want And some of them also are just doodles or things that I create really fast. And you can also play with different rollers, like if you have different sizes, you could get different textures too. I like to make all these textures uh, just in black because uh, what we are going to do next is um, trying to um, contrast the more we can uh, these values. So it's better if you maybe start uh, from scratch with uh, black ink or black paint, whatever you want, or yeah, like. If it's black, it's better, but if you want to make it in color, it's also okay. Um, it's just one way to, um, yeah, like jump as one step in Photoshop, but everything's okay. And also I use a lot this uh, inventory to make the background of my illustrations. So with uh, layer masks, we could um, do like uh, an effect that maybe you could think that it's made um, like with painting or it's analog, but it's all Photoshop. So we are going to the program right now and I would create a new file so we're going to work with pixels first and I'm trying to make our brushes in a really good quality so I'm gonna set this file in 2500 pixels And the idea now is that we are going to work with the image in grayscale. So you have to check in image mode and grayscale. So now we are going to open all these uh, files that maybe you pictured with your cell phone or scan all these textures. I'm gonna uh, choose some. So now 
the thing is, if you have uh, all your textures maybe in color, the first thing we have to do is um, trying to again work in grayscale. And once we have this uh, mode set, we are going to contrast uh, full the image we have of the texture. So we have to go to image, adjust and levels. And we are going to move these little arrows from here, trying to make the black as we can, the darker areas. And the whiter we can, the background of these textures. So this way we can get finally a really, really good uh, texture without the, yeah, maybe the background of the sheet we picture or we scan. And you can do it like the way you want, if you want uh, darker or more contrasting your texture, you can still uh, set these levels as you feel comfortable and if you like how is it, then it's okay. So now we are going to um, copy parts of these textures and paste them in our new file. So the idea is that we are going to use um, this tool that is the selection tool and we are going to select all the texture or just an area of that texture you want to make uh, a brush. In this case, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to copy and pass this. It's just the same like uh, command, it's just Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And with the transform tool, we also can um, make it smaller or yeah like you can transform that texture as you want So I'm going to use it this way, the first one. And now the idea is that from this uh, we would be able to create our first brush. So we are going to go to Edition and now Set Brushes Value, that is this option. In Spanish is Definir Valor de Pincel. 
and you will see that uh, Photoshop is showing us the texture it's going to transform in a new brush and we can uh, name it like uh, as we want I'm going just to put the number so we are going to create a new file I have one here it's just a A4 sheet so you can go to file new and you can create uh, any kind of canvas just to try uh, our first first crush so if you go to the tool of the brushes you will see here that at the end we are going to have the number one brush the first brush uh, so we can try it and let's see how it works and we can try colors and then you have the first brush from our analog texture ready the thing is that sometimes when you use it as a stamp it works really cool because you can see all that uh, little details of the texture and it's quite okay but if you want to maybe use it as a line it would be not so um, yeah like uh, texturized or yeah maybe it has some little uh, things that we could change so in that case we're going to still changing changing the first brush we made and the idea is to go to this little box that it's the box of brushes and we're going to adjust some of these brushes so here uh, we have an option where we could um, yeah like change the size of this brush and also we can uh, turn it to a different angle and we could also maybe yeah um, like uh, change how round is it and if you want to make this brush uh, more yeah like uh, that spread more the texture or less and how much of that texture the idea is that you can start opening all these uh, little options that you have here and you can uh, experiment and see what's happening here under um, the box and how the the rush is changing also you can add some texture photoshop has some textures just um, from zero that you can use and you can try and also you can invert them with our brush and change also some options if you want it uh, more dark or transparent and also if you want uh, you can mix two brushes from this box we have so maybe we can choose another that is one of the Photoshop brushes that is set from zero or maybe another one that we can create and also you can add some noise and there's another really nice possibility that if you are going to work uh, in color you can mix uh, the colors you have here 
aber uh, yeah, like in this area, like the lower left area. So the idea is that Photoshop can mix uh, the front color with the back in your brush. So if you go to color dynamic, you can click this option and just move these arrows a little bit and you will see what's going to happen next. But the thing is that if you don't save this uh, brush as we made before with the first one, uh, we will lose all these things we were trying. So the idea is to go here, this up, this menu, and we are going to uh, click again the option of set brushes value and now we can maybe name this new brush as 2 and now we are going to try it and let's see how it works So if you see, I'm not changing any colors right now. It's just all the options I tried in the brushes box. And if you want, you can make it smaller or bigger and try how it works. And also you can change now the colors to see also the difference. It's mixing like hue and saturation and values. So the idea is to try to experiment as much as possible with, with these options and create as much as brushes you want. But also it's really important to know that you can use everything as a stamp. For example, um, If you are making, I don't know, like some uh, nature illustrations, you can use some of these as leaves, for example. Or if you want to make a bush or... Yeah, like it's really cool uh, to know that you can also use everything as a stamp and not just a brush. Another thing is that if you, for example, fill the whole area of your sheet and you want to select um, maybe just a little detail of the texture, it's really important to know that uh, you're going to have like... Whoop, A texture with the shape of the selecting tool so in this case mostly you will have like a square brush and I don't know maybe you like that but if you don't you can uh, try to erase these limits or these uh, borders of the selection tool in the texture so also you can use the, the eraser as a brush, maybe with the brush we created before.
and you can make another shape. Whoop. Oh. I don't know, I think it's changing because So you can make the shape you want, just erasing the borders. And also if you don't want to have the whole texture, you can leave like something like this. And then again, maybe we can mix with other texture. You can also select uh, other selection tools if you want. In this case, if you want to mix two textures, um, we can erase the background, selecting the uh, magic um, tool, like the magic erase tool, and then just with uh, the erase. Uh, So here we can mix them, you can transform whatever you want, free, and for example now we have these two in different layers, so we are going to mix the layers, and for that we are going to select them both, and if you click you can merge the layers um, here and now we're going to transform this a little bit more and we're going to make a new brush So as if you can see, there's a lot of options and you can experiment mixing textures or just with one of the ones you created before. For example, also if you want, you can select just an area. If you have maybe a Wacom or a tablet, it would be better because you can select like with free hands uh, easily. But for example, if you want to make a stamp of an eye, for example, uh, if you have to make characters in Photoshop and you're kind of lazy to draw noise, noses or eyes or hands or whatever you want, you can use also the brushes tool for make this as a stamps. So I'm going to create an eye. Uh, I'm gonna 
crop this and I would make another layer past it and transform this a little bit and crop a little bit the area also you can use the selection tools with your brushes so if you want a shape with the texture of your brush you can do it this way and once you have the shape as you want I'm gonna change this a little bit so once you have the shape for example of the eye of whatever you want also you can go to edition and set brushing values and then for example you can use it as a stamp Also, if you want, you can transform this brush Also experiment a little bit with that and just if you make one click you will have a lot of eyes and you can make maybe a pattern and not just uh, like a stamp uh, for a character, maybe a background so there's a lot of possibilities with this brushes technique so if you have uh, some questions you can uh, remember that you can write to Alter Focus Kunst and I will answer everything you want Meanwhile, I will show you how we can do to save all the brushes we're creating right now. So, I'm going to create a little bit more to have a proper box of brushes. Mm -hmm. If you don't remember uh, the steps, also you can write us, and maybe if you want, uh, if you want me to repeat something, uh, I'm uh, glad to show again all the steps.
it's really really important uh, that uh, you remember that you can change all the settings from this um, box of the brush adjusts so you can play with all the options and make as much as brushes as you want And now that we have another brushes that we created before, we're going to try to mix them. Sometimes uh, some of them works better than others so the idea is that you have to try everything Finally, when you uh, set all the new adjustments for that brush, remember to save it. Okay, so the idea now is uh, see how we can um, save all these brushes we've been made all this uh, time. So um, I think it's different or kind of different uh, for every kind of Photoshop depending what you have. But I'm gonna I'm gonna to try because. Uh, I have an older Photoshop, this is not mine, so let's see how it works here, but if you can see Photoshop uh, has its own brushes and you have like these little folders with all the things, we are now in one of uh, special effects, so the idea is that we are going to uh, save from here, that is the first brush we made, till 7. So, we are going to delete the others. Okay, it's, I think it's not working here. So in some photoshops you can uh, go to the brushes box and just uh, pressing the alt key uh, with just a click you can delete the brush but in this case that is Adobe Photoshop CC you just can make a right click and delete the brushes that you don't want to save in this new box. We have a question. Okay. Somebody asked, how would look a, a drawing uh -huh. with and without the texture? Like, how would we like 
do you have an example of a drawing that you that you done and have done with and without the texture just to see the difference? Yeah, uh, let's see. Like, mm, okay, I'm I don't have like here the file, the original file, but I can check in my website. Or let's see better in Instagram. <laughs> oh. How is the bar here? I okay. So, for example, uh, sometimes I used to make this. Uh, drawings also or illustrations in Adobe Photoshop and this is just with the original brush tool that uh, Photoshop has it has like not texture at all but if you uh, add maybe um, yeah like above this uh, simple brush the other like the other texture brushes you can see like the difference here that i have like a little animation with the yeah like the most simple brush uh, that photoshop brings that is all the yeah like the the faces and then like all the shadows and the background are made with this uh, texture brushes so I think or for me it's um, kind of cool if you can add these analog textures to your uh, animations or to your illustrations I think it has like a different touch um, because otherwise like of course you can choose and it's free and uh, if you like more plain things or digital things it's better not to use some textures, but also if you want to use them, uh, I feel it's like uh, work made in digital, but it's like kind of, uh, I don't know, like it has something also regarding the analog tools and your hands with the tools and the materials and it's just not uh, yeah, like the plain brushes or colors you can use there in Photoshop or Illustrator. So back in Photoshop, we are still deleting some of the brushes we don't want. And now we have all these brushes we have created and the idea is to uh, go here in the um, right corner uh, of the of the box of the brushes box and we are going to mm -mm -mm. First, we're going to select all of them. This is different in every Photoshop uh, you have. Like here, you have to select all the, the rushes you want to save. And we're going to save them, exporting them. Uh, and we're going to name it.
you can save it in uh, whatever place of your computer you are going to find them easily. The idea of uh, saving all the brushes we have been making, making is that, um, for example, if you close Photoshop and you forget to uh, save them, or for example, you want to use another uh, box of brushes, for example, the most bas basic uh, brushes Photoshop has, and if you don't save what you've been doing, you will lose them. So it's really important before closing this program or changing brushes boxes to save the first one with all the brushes you've been making. So you can select different brushes boxes and then if you want, you can restore or bring again to Photoshop this box of webinar brush brushes. So, to remember more or less all the steps, um, we start making all the textures in sheets of, of papers with different tools. Uh, this step is really cool because you can experiment with all the materials and make uh, another cool uh, textures, different textures, tools uh, from scratch. And then it's really important to um, get the best quality you can of all these textures and all these experiments uh, you've been making. So you can uh, just picture them with your cell phone or scan them. If you scan them, please try to scan in, yeah, like maybe 200 or 300 uh, DPI. That it's like the best quality you can get for make this uh, brush. And then just remember that also it's really important to have all your textures in grayscale and also adjust the levels so you can get the more contrast you can of these textures and the background of the textures. And then it's just uh, play. We can select any area or any texture you have, mix them or just use them as it is and just play with that and transform the texture or make it smaller or bigger, feel free, but don't forget to uh, create a new file that it has to be in a good quality also so your your brush it's not going to pixelate if you use it like bigger and once you're trying all these different um, brushes uh, settings also don't forget to um, save your brushes box. It's really important, otherwise you will lose them and all the work and all the experiments you've been doing with your brushes box, it's going to be somewhere in the matrix. So finally, to finish this free webinar, I'm going to show you uh, a way to transform these textures in a layer mask. This layer mask is going to be kind of easy way to use the textures we've been made in without using brushes. 
So we're going to create a new file. And we're going to create a new layer and we're going to fill it. with some color you want and now we are going to create a layer mask for that you can go to the part of layers here at the right part of the program and you will see this little icon um, uh, here under in the bar and it's like a yeah like a square with a little circle inside and we're going to press it and automatically we will have another layer just next to our first layer so here we are going to pass uh, one of the textures we've made before and in this case, we're not going to use that as a brush, just as a layer mask. So we're going to select that again, copy that, and we're going to go to channels, that it's next to layers. And we're going to activate this last layer, that is the layer mask. And there we are going to pass this texture. You can move it or transform it. I'm gonna leave it this way just to try. And if you want, you can invert that or leave it as it is. And then we are going to return to layers and to our first layer, the one that it's filled with red and then you have a texture that you can use as a mask and for example if you paint different areas you will still have that texture in the background without using brushes so, if you have any questions, you can make them right now. I'm open and glad to answer anything. And thanks very much for joining. I hope you enjoy this and I hope uh, it would be useful for you if you're starting to make illustrations or animations or just discovering Photoshop. And also if you want to, I don't know, maybe ask me something if you have some doubts in the future you can contact me by instagram my instagram is mvictoria.rodriguez and also i want to thank alter focus for this uh, possibility of make this free webinar and um, please follow them and support them because they are doing a great work here in berlin with latin american artists so yeah, uh, I'm here to answer anything you want. Okay, uh, well, <laughs> uh, thanks very much again and hope you enjoy that and see you in the next one and stay well. Tschüssi!